Okay, so hello and welcome to our um, virtual open day for the accounting and finance program. So my name is um, Elisabeth Manzari uh, and I'm a lecturer in accounting uh, at Birmingham Business School. And I'm going to introduce you to some information about uh, our undergraduate program in accounting and finance. Uh, our other admission tutors uh, are Charika, who is here with us today, and James, uh, who are also lecturers in uh, accounting at the business school. And you can also find here uh, the admission contact email in case you have any further questions about uh, the program. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the uh, university and the business school and our degree and how it is like to, to study uh, with us here. So we are uh, a leading business school uh, and we have excellent research uh, across a range of disciplines and in particular around the areas of accounting and finance. Uh, we also have fantastic links with the profession. We are research led but also uh, very, very close with, uh, with practice. So some of our classes will be led by uh, representatives from, uh, from some of the most prestigious um, representatives, yeah, for the most prestigious um, professional services firms uh, in accounting and uh, finance. And we also have several research institutes and centers. Uh, for example, we have the Lloyd's uh, Banking Group Center for Responsible Business. And this is one of the examples of how we try to um, use actual practice to inform our teaching and research and vice versa. And we are also one of the few um, business schools around the world that has a triple crown accreditation with uh, leading accreditation bodies uh, for our undergraduate and postgraduate, postgraduate degrees. Okay, so in terms uh, of our accounting and finance degree, uh, we are among the top 12 of the 103 accounting and finance uh, run courses in uh, the UK um, based on the 2021 Complete University Guide uh, rankings, the most recent ones. Uh, the accounting and finance degree program in particular was uh, redesigned uh, from top to bottom and that was uh, done quite uh, recently uh, and in uh, 2019 was the first um, cohort, the first intake of our newly uh, redesigned program. And uh, what we try to do is uh, we try to look at how we can combine the more technical aspects of accounting, which is quite technical, uh, as well as finance and business. Um, so you might be familiar with those if you have looked at uh, other programs and other degrees, but particularly with an emphasis of how we then we can add value to that technical uh, expertise and experience. Um, and that is all about communication, interpretation, uh, evaluation. So being able to use that technical knowledge uh, to draw your own conclusions, uh, to come up with your own analysis and to communicate that in uh, a variety of, way, of ways, whether it be uh, through essay writing, uh, presentations or otherwise. In terms of uh, our teaching style and assessment uh, across the program, we have uh, a mix of large uh, lecture delivery and we also have small group workshops, uh, but it is also quite diverse through uh, the program. So we provide some digital content that involves, uh, for example, all the library resources that are available to you. Um, we use an online platform called Canvas, which we integrate with things like uh, lecture recordings, additional resources and notes, and uh, these are all made uh, available to you. In terms of the assessment structure, uh, this is also quite diverse uh, across the program with uh, most of our modules um, uh, across the degree program um, you have an element of coursework uh, that might be a, a piece of individual study a short essay uh, or an assignment or case study and this will be uh, combined with uh, more traditional exam assessment in january and in the summer 
And these uh, types of assessments can be also combined with presentations, uh, reflective reports, group work to really actually try to test, as I said earlier, these communication skills, particularly in the first year of your study. So the aim is to, through these assessments, to encourage you to be more creative, to show um, your own critical thinking, uh, and then try to build uh, up through the different levels and skills you are introduced to uh, throughout the program. So here you see this, um, what we call Bloom's taxonomy of uh, learning. Uh, and this is kind of a model we use to structure uh, and frame uh, and design our assessments and teaching material. So we start from more basic uh, skills of remembering, understanding, but then we try to build up uh, with analyzing and evaluating uh, concepts and events and ultimately uh, creating new knowledge. Okay, so how does the first year of our uh, degree program looks like? So here you can see a summary uh, of the first uh, year of your uh, degree. So you see modules like financial accounting, accountability, uh, we've got decision making and control. So they introduce some of the um, core elements of accounting and finance and some of the more technical elements. And uh, then we've got a range of other modules which uh, will introduce you to how you can study uh, at the university level, yeah? So that is in uh, critical thinking uh, and academic skills. So what does it take to be a university-led uh, level researcher? Uh, how do you write essays for a university standards? How do you make uh, use of all the resources that are available to you? Yeah. And then we have an economics for business, uh, A or B, and numeracy and statistical analysis and financial literacy. Uh, so these two modules um, uh, are uh, extra. And we've got another two modules uh, where you build up your understanding uh, of wider economics and also some of the numeracy you need for um, the second and the third year. So these modules try to uh, get you prepared and give you all these numeracy skills you need and economics, basic economics, so you can progress smoothly in your uh, second and third year. And then we have uh, an optional choice in the first year, either the widening accounting horizon module, uh, which is a module we offer across the business school. Uh, and there we introduce the foundation of uh, business and accounting and hopefully this will help you to settle into life uh, in the business school and also we have the business communication skills module which is uh, specifically designed uh, for some of our international cohort so here is how the um, the year looks like so the start of the term for example this year will be on the 21st of uh, September you'll meet your course director uh, in this first week you get uh, your course timetable um, you'll be set into your accommodation uh, there will be a range of uh, student activities um, through our students union and then uh, you, you, we have the welcome week um, and then the start of the term which, um, for example, this year will be on the uh, 28th uh, of September. So this is when your actual first, you know, lecture start, you meet your personal tutor. Um, so the personal tutor will be a member of staff and uh, they will uh, take an interest in um, your general well-being uh, and how you progress academically. Uh, they, you will meet them uh, regularly uh, throughout the year, either, either individually or in small groups. And at the start of the term, we take also uh, all our students outdoors to, uh, to an activity center in Coniston for, uh, for a range of team building uh, activities and exercises. Uh, but as you understand, this year, um, this might not happen and probably won't happen due to the COVID situation. But when everything comes back to normal, hopefully next year, uh, then we'll do that again. So you have the academic year uh, briefly laid out uh, at the bottom of, uh, of that slide. We have the autumn term, then we have uh, the January exams, which relate to uh, the modules you took in the first semester, then you have the second semester and 
Easter break, followed by uh, the May, uh, June exams. Okay, so here you can see uh, some of the pictures of the trip uh, in Coniston and some of the students enjoying uh, some, of the, uh, some of the activities. Uh, in terms of uh, year two, so on our new program, uh, there is a combination of uh, core compulsory modules and some optional modules that uh, fall under three uh, pathways. Yeah, so these pathways are, are professional accounting, um, uh, finance, and future uh, leaders. So when we uh, redesigned our uh, program, we looked at how we can best combine the different topics that fall under accounting, finance, and business. And we want to, um, to have some, to provide some knowledge and experience on these um, areas. Okay, so in the core modules uh, within these pathways, yeah, we have financial reporting, uh, looking uh, at external accounts, um, on how an organization uh, reports, yeah, financial accounting, they report to external stakeholders, uh, their financial performance. Uh, we have management accounting, which is all about decision making within the organization. And we have corporate finance, uh, which is about financial markets and regulation. Okay. So these are some examples of the core modules you saw uh, in the previous uh, slide. Uh, in terms of the pathways. So uh, the pathways uh, are described here in this slide in more detail. I know there is a lot to take in, but just to give you an overview. Uh, so in the professional accounting uh, pathway, we have modules like taxation, audit and business law. So these are more technical areas. They're more exam focused uh, modules. Yeah. And they're uh, also linked to professional exemptions with the accounting profession. So if you're interested in a career in accounting profession, um, becoming an auditor and so on, uh, then you get more, most of the uh, exemptions by taking uh, this pathway. So profession uh, bodies, like professional bodies like the ICAW, ACCA, and SEMA. And these modules will give you the technical grounding and uh, and skills and knowledge that you need to uh, take into the accounting profession. The finance pathway again combines modules like econometrics, uh, financial markets institutions, security analysis and valuation, and it goes more in depth into the finance pathway. Here you see uh, that it says that it will re require um, an A-level maths uh, in order to uh, take to do this pathway. And this is because uh, the mathematics uh, is more challenging on some of the, uh, of the modules um, introduced uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this pathway. But um, we do make some exemptions, yeah, even if you don't have A-levels in math, in case uh, that you do well in your first year numeracy module. Okay, and if you're very keen to take this pathway and you do well in this module, then we'll look at, uh, we'll take it on a case by case uh, basis and then, you know, uh, if you score well, we can open the finance pathway for you. And finally, we have future leaders pathway. So this pathway, you'll be sitting modules with other students from across the business school. And uh, in this pathway, the modules, are, the assessment is more essay based. Yeah, and we look at responsible business, ethics, governance, and any issues that are important for, uh, for organizational leadership. So there's a lot of choices and a lot of consider when you choose your pathway and a lot to consider. That's why uh, uh, these are introduced in the second year instead uh, of the first year. So before you enter year two, uh, at the end of year uh, one, actually, uh, you have to choose uh, your pathway, but we will have an open day where a pathway day where you'll be introduced to the modules, the lectures will uh, give short presentations about the modules involved, and then you can make more informed decisions. Okay, and that is how um, it looks like in, in the second year. Here are the professional bodies we currently uh, have exemptions with. 
so you might have heard of uh, ACCA, CMI, CAW and ICAS, which are the accounting professional exemptions and the bodies uh, we uh, get exemptions with. And uh, we also got the Chartered Institute for Securities and Investment, yeah, which is more linked to the finance pathway. Right, and lastly, as you uh, enter your final year of the program, uh, we then again have a combination of core modules and some optional modules. So there are uh, slightly more core modules in the third year. We have 420 credit modules, um, advanced financial accounting practice, advanced finance, advanced management accounting um, and, and control, and uh, the extended essay. So an extended essay uh, is an individual piece of work um, of around 5,000 words where you have to choose a topic of your liking and you have to then explore and investigate it in uh, more depth. So we encourage students to choose uh, an area uh, or within accounting, finance and business, uh, uh, but also ideally related to the pathway. But it's up to you if you're interested in a particular topic. Um, it's it's fine and you can uh, write your extended essay on that and then we have the future leadership pathway um, and some a variety of modules there such as yeah fundamentals of leadership and so on okay so then you make up your degree by choosing a couple of modules from across uh, across the, the the program uh, these modules are really interesting, really linking to um, the research we do in the department. So we have social and environmental accounting, public sector accounting, advanced analytics, and we have some additional topics in finance uh, that are available to you if you want to uh, do the finance pathway. Uh, I would like to emphasize uh, the professional development module yeah, on the uh, bottom left of that slide. So this is a module that links to any placement or internship that you can secure between your second and your third year. Yeah? So that module is really popular, uh, is based on uh, a workplace uh, essay. So writing an essay about the industry that you've got a placement in, uh, combined with the reflective, uh, self-reflective uh, journal that uh, allows you to get more uh, credit, linking it to the internship and the places you have secured. Yeah, so our careers team uh, work really close with us uh, on these modules and they are uh, here with us today, uh, helping students to secure those placements and they have a, a wide range of opportunities advertised um, on their websites and they also work through uh, with um, every student in terms of application skills, your CV writing, interview skills uh, and so on. Lastly, uh, this slide uh, gives you some examples of careers that you may pursue uh, if uh, you follow the accounting and finance program. Yeah? So on the left hand side, there are typically accounting jobs. So you have auditing, working for a big four company, tax management accounting, budgeting and so on. And on the right hand side, uh, these are some examples of from uh, related to finance. Uh, careers. So we have uh, things like finance and banking, hedge fund management, if you want to work in the um, investment industry as an analyst and so on. However, I really uh, must emphasize here that uh, once you've completed a degree in accounting and finance, uh, there are so many different opportunities uh, there for you. Uh, so an accounting and finance degree at uh, the University of Birmingham uh, will give you a range of applicable skills uh, that you can then uh, take to, to other areas. So it can prove that you, you have an understanding of how, of how uh, organizations are managed uh, financially, uh, but also that you can think independently. Yeah? And of course, that you can follow a program uh, through, uh, through to completion. So we have many students that might take a bit of a career change at this point and pursue a master's degree, for example, in human resources or marketing. We have some students that may want to study at a PhD level. And we also have students that might choose to do something entirely different. Yeah, so it's really up to you to, take, to, to make most out of it and explore different opportunities and find what is best for you. 
Okay, so here we have some uh, pictures from uh, career activities we'll have uh, and um, you have career advisors, as I said today, uh, giving you a presentation. And, you know, these pictures are from careers fair, career fairs we had last year on campus and other activities. So employers will come on campus, they want to meet our students and then our students can really uh, find out what it's like to work uh, in this sector and get tips in uh, getting ahead with, uh, with applications. Okay, so that's all for the presentation. Uh, I hope you enjoy the virtual uh, open day. Uh, Please ask any questions uh, to our admission tutors, to our uh, career advisors, and don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much.